The result of the Swedish election is on a knife edge. The biggest winner of election night is Jimmy Orkesson, the leader of the anti-immigration Sweden Democrats party. With partial votes in, it looks like they'll be the second largest party in parliament with more than 20% of votes. That's a far cry away from the 5.7% they won 12 years ago. Fantastic, Mickey. We are... We are great, really, a great party today, and I'm so proud, I'm so happy with what we have done together to achieve this. The Sweden Democrats, who have neo-Nazi roots, have now made it into mainstream politics. For the first time, they're set to form a coalition with the moderates, after the centre-right party agreed to cooperate with what was once considered a pariah of Swedish politics it looks increasingly likely this right-wing bloc will oust Magdalena Andersson and her Social Democrats. But the Prime Minister didn't concede defeat on election night, saying results were still too close to call. Now Swedish democracy must take its course. All the votes must be counted, and we will wait for the result. In the meantime, we think we had a good election. We have a good result, and we had a fantastic campaign. Thank you. The success of the far right can be explained by the major themes of the campaign. Gang crime, immigration and integration issues. With parties on the left also focusing on these topics. The Social Democrats campaigned on more policing and tougher sentencing. Election authorities say the final results may have to wait until Wednesday as a large number of overseas and postal votes still have to be counted.